beautiful. The look for the show is kind of a Hans Christian Andersen dark fairy tale. So it's kind of um, an androgynous makeup. Um, so it's all about uh, some of the girls have got like kind of like crazy funny eyebrows and little moustaches and then the other girls are these sort of like distressed sort of damsons with sort of like very sort of like sad smoky eyes and a cartoon drawn lip. Uh, Vivian's today we are the theme is Prince Charming so we've got some girls with sh very short black bangs and, and varying degrees of bobs. Some past the shoulder, some above the shoulder, some above the chin, so there's different lengths. And the other girls have kind of braided crimps hair that's turned into, into a sort of faux bob, but with sort of the tendrils floating, so they're a bit more romantic. But there's a definite, definite sort of more sort of uh, boyish Prince Charming feel. We just started to, I started to work with the idea of fairy tales and um, I called it Prince Charming and it's a kind of escape from keep talking about climate change. Nevertheless, that is the context I see everything in. Tales are very important for children because they're about a world which is cruel and there's injustice, injustice and uh, danger. And even the stupid little Jack from who kills the giant and the beanstalk, the simple, silly children, they can win in the end. And it gives them a chance of strength, it gives them a feeling of strength and that they can become confident and grow up and independent and empowered.
Well, you have to be really quick in the fashion world. I always do something practical. The first jacket we made, I just passed by it. It was still on the stand. We hadn't even tried it on. And I just said, that reminds me of a principal boy in a pantomime. The proportion just cut off at the thigh, wasted with shoulders. I don't know, it looked like principal boy in a pantomime or a ballet. Well, we've got the wedding march at one point. It's quite emotional because they really are romantic looking, the figures. I don't know why, but they are. And also they've got little moustaches and the girls have got like drawn on lips. And when you've got a kind of mask, it really releases people's emotions. They're not looking at people, they let their imagination go, you know. And um, there's something very emotional about work, looking at it. That's what I got when I just saw the run-through.